again, my name is Gabe Zona. This is the 23rd of January 2019 article posted by CNN Politics, written by Jeremy Diamond and Boris Sanchez. Title: Trump recognizes Venezuelan opposition leader as nation's president. There's an embedded video and you'll be able to hear Trump say those in his own words. President Donald Trump on Wednesday announced that he is recognizing Venezuelan opposition leader Juan Guaido as the legitimate president of Venezuela. Quote, in its role as the only legitimate branch of government duly elected by the Venezuelan people, the National Assembly evoked the country's constitution to declare Nicolas Maduro illegitimate and the office of the presidency therefore vacant. The people of Venezuela have courageously spoken out against Maduro and his regime and demanded freedom and the rule of law. Trump said in a statement recognizing Guaido as interim president of Venezuela. Trump also urged other governments to recognize Guaido, adding that he will continue to use the full weight of the United States economic and diplomatic power to press for the restoration of a Venezuelan democracy. Trump continued by saying his administration will continue to hold the illegitimate Maduro regime directly responsible for any threats it may pose to the safety of the Venezuelan people. The move comes nearly two weeks after Maduro was inaugurated for a second term that the U.S. dozens of other countries and the Venezuelan opposition has decried as illegitimate. Since then, Trump has mulled recognizing Guaido, the president of the National Assembly, as the country's legitimate president. And top Trump administration officials gradually ratcheted up their public statements, laying the groundwork for this step. Those deliberations came to a head this week as Venezuelan took to the streets in nationwide protests on Wednesday and their increased speculation that Guaido would formally swear himself in as the country's president, citing a provision in the country's constitution. The White House is closely monitoring the protests and Maduro's response. On Tuesday, Vice President Mike Pence issued a message to support the Venezuelan planning to take the streets, saying they had the unwavering support of the United States. Depending on the severity of Maduro's response, Trump is also prepared to take a range of actions to punish Maduro, including possible oil sanctions, two sources familiar with the White House deliberations said. White House Press Secretary Sarah Sanders did not immediately respond to a request for a comment. CNN previously reported that Trump was considering recognizing Guaido as legitimate president of Venezuela and that the White House was mulling oil sanctions. Asked if the administration would add Venezuela to the list of state sponsors of terror, as several lawmakers have requested, a National Security Council official referred to a previous statement from NSC spokesman Garrett Marquis, in which he said the U.S. was currently considering all diplomatic, political, and economic tools in its arsenal in response to the assertion of power by the illegitimate Maduro regime. Trump, along with Pence and National Advisor John Bolton, met at the White House Tuesday with a delegation of GOP Florida lawmakers. Republicans Senator Marco Rubio and Rick Scott, Representative Mario Diaz Balart, as well as Governor Ron DeSantis, to discuss the matter, the congressional source said. Rubio said the delegation urged Trump to recognize Guaido as Venezuela's president. We encourage the president today to follow through with what he's already declared, which is that Maduro is illegitimate. The next logical step is to recognize the president of the National Assembly as the rightful president, Rubio told reporters after leaving the White House. The White House apparently did not invite any Democrats to Tuesday's meeting. The administration is by no means trying to make these efforts bipartisan, even if we are the lead on the issue, said Juan Pachon a spokesperson for Senator Bob Menendez, the top Democrat on the Senate Foreign Relations Committee, who was condemned Maduro's regime. This month, Menendez introduced legislation alongside diaz Balart that would give Venezuelan nationals in the U.S. temporary protected status. Well, 
I think I'm going to title this video, Trump Says Bye Bye to Venezuelan President Nicolas Maduro. I'll attach the link. You might want to pass this along to your like-minded friends. Repost it in all of your social media accounts. Thanks for listening.